Thank you for this kind introduction, Anita. Thank you all of you for coming today. I will be speaking in English. And I will, I will try to <coughs> reconstruct some, some issues in Yugoslav, Yugoslav history. I prepared a PowerPoint presentation to present arguments more systematically, but uh, as I was uh, informed, the projector isn't working, so we'll manage, I hope, without it. And uh, I apologize in front because maybe this will be a lecture in Yugoslavia that you maybe never wanted to hear, or <laughs> something like that. But I, I trust you will be patient. Uh, when Croatia was entering the European Union six, six months ago, six months ago, Novinar journalists asked Croatian philosopher, famous Croatian philosopher Boris Budin, what about European crisis? Will crisis affect Croatian economy in the future? He replied that the crisis is not coming from the European future, it is coming from Yugoslav past. He was quite right. There is so much we can learn from Yugoslav history and use it for analysis of, of current political and economic conundrum of the European Union today. Certainly, there are many differences between the Euro European Union and Yugoslav history. For example, institutional, institutional design of the European Union is much more complex than, U than, Yugoslav, than Yugoslav institutional, inst institutional design. European Union has at its disposal more, more complex amortization mechanisms than, than Yugoslavia had. But the most importantly, the ruling class of most, of most developed countries today in European Union, especially those in Germany, want to stay in European Union. What, is, what, was, what was quite different in Yugoslavia, where the most developed regions like Croatia and Slovenia wanted to leave the Yugoslavia. But what is identical between the European Union and Yugoslavia is the devastating logic of liberal economic policy with its fatal consequences for economic unity and political cooperation. I will try to reconstruct the, the development of this liberal logic in, Yugos in Yugoslav history. The Communist Party, which led the, libera the, the, libera the liberation struggle in the fight against fascist occup occupiers, gained tremendous, tremendous popular support during and after World War II. That gave the party legitimacy to declare independence, and more importantly, a strong background in international positioning. Party leadership set the goals of modernizing the country and building, social, and building socialist society. For this purpose, it was important to develop a strategy for the development of political and economic system in Yugoslavia. But the content of strategy that shaped the institutions constantly changed under the influences of conflicting political, political uh, leadership in the context, context of, di of time. Therefore, institutions never stabilized, but were continually changing under the influence of political conflicts that were inseparable for, from international circumstances. Strategic and political economic issues that the Yugoslav leadership had to deal with, had to deal with contained two, two key tactical problems. The first problem concerned the question of forming a unified program for the country imbued with enormous diversity. This diverse, diversity these diversities came out from different political conditions, different political orders, different trade union <laughs> experience. So connecting with so, so connecting with possible ally, allies ext extremely varied among regions as equally as varied the level of industrial and general socio-economic development in Yugoslavia. This opened the dilemma of how to apply Marxist, Marxist theory in the conditions of the predominance of agricultural structure and semi-feudal social relations. The second problem arose from the fact that the political struggle was taking place simultaneously on the two fronts, in the arena, in the arena of international power relations, with the need for international recognition, 
and, mit, and within the domestic circumstances. It is important to emphasize that the key, that the key decision moments were in general under the influence of international events, and that those external and those external factors influenced the political and economic <coughs> dynamics until the end of Yugoslav existence, Yugoslavia's existence. <coughs> Conflicts in the party are often in the interpretations solely, solely reduced to the fight for power between party members, so-called elite con elites conflict theory, or are, or are reduced to the struggle between di different ethnic groups for dominance or autonomy, so-called ethnic struggle theory, or the struggle between different levels of authority within the party and government hierarchy, like, for example, conflict between the center and the republics, conflict between statism and pluralism, conflict between market and plan, conflict between conservatives and liberals. The problem is that none of these aforementioned conditions theory, uh, uh, those, uh, these uh, uh, aforementioned conflict theory can explain the increase, can't explain the increase in death and rise in unemployment. Therefore, it is essential to focus our analysis on the discussions and conflicts in the selection of political economic strategy for the economic accumulation and the institutional development in the context of international circumstances. Conflicts in the leadership of the Communist Party emerged from the search for optimal development of material life and the corresponding organization of social life, then the struggle for control over economic resources, and in the last instance, from the debates on the necessary policy instruments for achieving the goals, all, with, all within the circumstances of the time. Moreover, these conflicts were, were, these conflicts often reflected, were often reflected in, in the contradict, contradict, contradictory strategic and tactical choices, and they are often hidden behind the, the, the debate about the necessary speed of change. But only through this approach can we understand the selected instruments plan, market, decentralization, which were used to achieve plan strategy. Only then we can understand the extremely complex political and economic developments that have marked Yugoslavia. So, debates, so debates, tensions and conflicts within the leadership about the choosing the dominant strategy for the institutional design <laughs> of the state and the social order within the, within, within the international circumstances point out to two tendencies. These tendencies were regularly turned into political factions struggling about, struggling about the strategy of economic development and necessary political preconditions to achieve certain strategy. Characteri characterization used for these two tendencies are refor 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 reformist co communists and hardliners. Often the hardliners are called also Stalinists or conservatives or, or statists. But considering the concept of development and selected economic in, in, instruments, is, it is much better to mark, to mark them in the terms ana analogous to, do, to those in the capitalist countries. So re reformists would be anal analogous to liberals, and the hardliners would be analogous with protectionists or developmentalists. For clarity, I will, for the clarity of this presentation, I will use that I will use this I will use the thermological distinction of protectionist <coughs> and of, of, of conflict between protectionist and liberal strategy. Yugoslav liberal model differs from the Western liberal model, but to a much lesser extent than one would think. Behind the different instruments and agents of change lies a shared common heritage of the modern era, a rational approach to the material world and its development. Although, although communist regimes position material development more openly and strongly to the center stage of their vision of the world than the Western political movements, there are not many differences in emphasizing the economic growth as the basis of human possibilities. Likewise, Western and communist regimes do not differ too much in their internal disagreements over the optimal development strategy. strategy. Regimes created in the West and East share also main dilemma of the modern state. How to respond and adapt to the consequences of the international, internationalization of markets and the resulting global system of industrial capitalism. <laughs>
Usually, it is claimed that the economic policies of socialist countries apply for a specific time extensive, extensive development strategy, that is, protectionist development strategy. Its depletion as development, as development strategy leads to a political struggle until it is replaced with intensive development strategy, that is, liberal development strategy. In reality, the representatives of both liberal and protectionist strategy could be found not only in socialist countries, but also in capitalist countries and their, and their interests and institutions coexist and are dialectically intertwined and replaced. Where, where the socialist and capitalist regimes are contrasted is the political and economic component of the strategies in the West and East. Political component of socialist strategy shows how the tactics, how the, how the tactics of revolution sought to unite the working class in a movement under a single leadership. The aim is to break the ability of capital to use the labor market for establishing the division, to establishing divisions between workers, like like competition over wages and jobs. So, socialist regimes aspire to create a national front of all working people, industrial workers, workers, small and medium-sized farmers, landless peasants, free professionals, that is, liberal intelligentsia, lower middle class groups, and public, official, uh, public officials. They all, should wage, they all should wage a revolution both at home and abroad and win the control over the state. All these, all these, all these are preconditions of economic component of socialist strategy that is contained in the workers' control of surplus value, that is, in the establishing of the social ownership of the means of production and the system, uh, the system that converts money into servant of production and a factor in prevent, preventing, the, preventing the crisis, not causing them. It may seem ironic that the consequences of a marked reforms and international circumstances in Yugoslavia were most acute in those spheres where in those in, in the spheres where whose, whose absence was considered a socialist advantage. The absent capital market and the lack of independent banks did not prevent accumulation of enormous debt and the enormous debt and the lack of dis disciplinary labor market did not prevent the high unemployment. But the very fact of the existence of the capital market and the labor market is not a guarantee that will prevent crisis situation, as shown in the as shown in the case of Yugoslavia. To prevent, or at least to solve the crisis situation, it is necessary to develop economic structures and conditions that will help tone down global process of capital accumulation. To make market reforms more success successful, it was necessary to have previously developed economic infrastructure, advanced industrial capacities and favor, favor, favorable international circumstances, which was rarely the case during Yugoslav history. Otherwise, market forces will, will fully devastate existing economic conditions and political stability, which, which eventually did happen in Yugoslavia. <clears throat> in the policy of the Yugoslav Communist Party and the state institutions, it was the reformist current or liberal approach to economic development and socialism that early prevailed. But the dominance of, of liberal approach still needed to be proved in a political battle over development strategy within international circumstances. The reform, the reform program dates to the period before World War II, and it was based on consideration of leadership, me leadership members coming from more advanced regions like Slovenia and Croatia. The economic structure in these regions was industrially more advanced with the working class employed in light industry and manufacturing. Economic exchange was dependent on trade with Western countries. In Croatia and Slovenia also existed large sections of the peasantry and developed local cooperatives. These, co these conditions favored the, reforms, the reform liberal strategy of economic growth built around modern manufacturing and commercial agriculture which was supported by the members of the Croatian and Slovenian Communist Party. Material interests and cultural preferences strengthened the coalitions, coalition during, during, the, during this time with a common orientation to the West and, and the resentment toward the cost 
of developing large domestic capital goods and primary products. But, but after the war, but, but after the war finished, party leadership implemented a protectionist strategy based on capital goods, heavy industry, and central allocation of resources. The reason lies in post-war domestic and international circumstances. Yugoslavia, <coughs> Yugoslavia was faced with the need to stabilize the, the economy under pressure of, de of, of devastated production capacity, devastated infrastructure, widespread poverty, large balance of payments deficit, outstanding trade agreements. These, these pressures necessarily had to be resolved in order to, crea to create the conditions for national security. The political leadership thus sought to ensure strong national defense and to create the conditions for the liberal reform option. Although the, although the tense international situation in the post-war years favored protectionist strategy, central planning and central control over, de over, over decisions about production and supply, it never really found a firm institutional foundation after the breakup with the Stalin reform liberal model was ever more cl clearly coming to the forefront. Finally, the government that came out of political struggle within the Communist, communist Party, be struggle between reform, liberal strategy and protectionist strategy was actually a combination of both. But the changes in the, in the economy and the state codified in the constitutional norms in every decade were written and, direct, and directed by the li liberal reformers. A liberal current led a political and economic reform, reform during Yugoslav history, opening the economy to world trade and financial flows and the cooperating in Western countries and institutions. The liberal faction of the Yugoslav Communist Party preferred a preferred model of, re of reforms directed to economic and social improvement of living standards as observed in the West. The aim of improving living standards was inseparable from catching up with Western economies and, and, comp and competition in the international arena. Therefore, the international standards were used as a benchmark for Yugoslav economic development. Only when the, only when the economic, domestic economic strategy begins to decline in the international context, then there is a sufficient pressure at home to resolve many specific disagreements with the prevailing policy and build support for another reform of the system. The generators, the generators of internal reforms become falling growth, falling growth rates, chronic trade balance deficits, declining foreign reserve necessary for in, declining foreign reserves necessary for import, technological backwardness, regard, regardless of whether it is measured by the quality of weapons or production of leading companies, rising costs of defense and strategic goods or threats to national security. security. All these are reasons for the change of accumulation policy. The economic size of Yugoslavia at the world level was simply too small to, to be able to successfully internalize the external shocks. It, it, it exposed a liberal approach to an, uh, to an exceptional vulnerability and high dependence on international conditions. And since the international character of the socialist states has always been the relative disadvantage compared to the Western countries, political dilemmas of adjustment to international circumstances remain the dominant power of choosing the domestic strategy. The, inter the intertwinement of the dominant liberal and contesting protection, protectionist tendencies in Yugoslavia Stems out, of, stems out from different political responses to international circumstances. The liberal and protectionist strategies of accumulation in Yugoslavia were determined by the availability of foreign financing, changes in terms of international trade, and market access, because all of these components affect domestic and foreign demand for Yugoslav goods and influence prices of production factors. Changing international, changing international conditions periodically support liberal current and then periodically support protectionist current. In this way, periodically occurring conditions suitable for protectionist strategy encourage economy based on supply contracts. That means it emphasizes capital goods, military equipment, production of fuel and seeds, 
extraction of minerals and other primary products. The economy revolves around the military procurement, production, production input, inputs like machinery, raw materials, bilateral, bilateral trade agreement, but also limited trade where earnings come only through an increase in quantity. At other times, periodically occurring conditions suitable for the liberal strategy encourage economy based on domestic and foreign markets, on retail, on retail markets, focused on finding a market niche which emphasizes economic adaptation through price, not quantity. Within the retail markets, within the retail markets, the emphasis is on the emphasis on processing goods, light industry, farms, and consumer goods. Since the international circumstances and domestic political configuration were inclined to the liberal model, government implemented a liberal production profile whose primacy was improved whose primacy was improved because of the necessity of approaching the Western economic standards. This model dominated and shaped the underlying economic and political institutions of the period. But the importance of independent, of independent defense cap capabilities, the privileged the privilege position of producers of final goods, and unpredict unpredictable fluctuation in foreign demand were keeping the protectionist model quite alive and influential. The political debate about the appropriate economic policy, policies were constantly taking place with different consequences on the region and employment. And the international environment remained a key factor in shaping the final government policy. Liberal or protectionist reactions to the constant changing international circumstances have, dif have defined different orientations in production, a different incentives incentive system to increase productivity, a different structure of employment, and ultimately a different political organization of society. For example, in every decade there was adoption of a new constitution. Implementation of liberal accumulation strategy for the development and design of institutions resulted in a series of contradictions that ultimately led to a long-term external debt, stagnation, hyperinflation, mass unemployment, and eventually national escalation of the conflict. Problems that were considered key barriers to the success of liberal re reforms, like ethnic conflict, disintegrating central authority, rising inflation and unemployment, all these were consequences of the liberal reforms, not cause of their failure. These consequences of the contradictions in strategic reforms were the most disastrous exactly for the socialist elements of the program. Guaranteed, guaranteed growth in living standards, employment growth, solidarity, and integrative role of the party. <clears throat> Liberal strategy in Yugoslavia ignored the negative economic and social consequences because there was a belief in socialist institutionalization of liberal strategy as a safe diffuse against these problems. <laughs> in reality, it was, it was other way around. Market principles in the context of interna internationalization of capital absorbed social, socialist principles. Implementation of liberal strategy supported the most developed regions and ignored the considerable underdevelopment of Yugoslav territory and internal heterogeneity. Ultimately, the liberal approach and widening of republican autonomy resulted in large disparities between enterprises and the republics. While, while, disregard, while, disregard, uh, while, while disregarding the extent to which these difficulties were geographically defined. Post-war gradual introduction of market criteria in the direction of a more rational, efficient and productive economic, economic activity was based on the belief that the structure of incentives directed to the release of economic self-interest could, be best, could best contribute to achieving planned social, social goals. Therefore, decisions about the use of economic resources were left to those who have a direct economic interest in their use. That is, those who produce value must have autonomy in decision making. The workers will produce, the workers will produce more per unit of labor time when they expect proportional, proportional increase in the wages, and they will contribute to reducing the costs if they, have, if, if they have a voice in decision-making. Manager, managers will organize production 
more efficiently and respond more quickly to demand signals if it is reflected in profits and income that they can keep for themselves. Farmers will produce and sell more products if it, is, if it, is means, if it means increasing their income. This belief, this belief in the rational behavior of direct, direct, of direct manufacturers assume, assumes variable and bonus system, which should reflect the skills and expertise of human capital. At the macro level, this implies a different system of co coordination rather than an administered instructions of centralized accounts or protectionist planning. Financial instruments take over the function of conveying information, coordinating the relationship between the enterprises. The, inter the implementation of social regulation, the implementation of social regulation, but financial, ins but financial instruments also take over the function of, enforce of, of enforcement of state preferences regarding investment, investments. Enterprise autonomy over supplies and labor deprives the government of, in of influence and control. This is the way in which the liberal development strategy is structured, with the hope of establishing macroequilibrium between direct manufacturers and maximization of social welfare. But the Yugoslav economic, but Yugoslav economy and society, at least nominally, should operate on opposition principle, opposite principle, on principle of mutual interest, cooperation, collaboration, agreement. The aim of socialist strategy is the development of socialist commodity production, not a market economy. So the question is, what happened? How did this? How did how did this liberal liberal How did this liberal strategy? disintegrated Yugoslav reality. Implementation of liberal reform strategy in Yugoslavia sought as soon as possible to reach the economic level of, de of developed capitalist countries. But the, problems but, but the problems but problems emerged because in practice the liberal reform measures were increasingly producing unde undesirable results. Results that led to the disintegration of Yugoslav politics, economics and society. Conflicts between, between implemented measures and unwanted outcome were simul simultaneously appearing at all levels, reflecting the inherent, inherent contradiction between liberal reform program and the construction of emancipated socialist society. In order to make this analysis more clear, I will abstract, I will abstract six axes around which the conflict between the liberal reform measures and the real but unwanted outcomes occurred ultimately leading to a breakup. First axis is conflict, conflict bet between market liberalization and the dissolution of federal balance. Second is the conflict of, gov of government decentralization and strengthening of Republican bureaucracy. Third is conflict of financial restrictions or austerity during, during the 80s and macroeconomic imbalances. Fourth is the fourth conflict is, is that of Interna internationalization of economy and the emergence of business cycles. Fifth, conflict of economic liberalization and federal political repression. And sixth, conflict of self-management and nationally broken solidarity. First, conflict of market liberalization and the dissolution of the federal balance. Widening of market principles in, in economic relations led to intense competition among Yugoslav enterprises and segmentating the single market in the national competition zone, zones. Enterprises relied on their republican leadership when they sought broader economic autonomy. This led to a frequent quarrels between the republics about the economic policy or redistribution of funds, funds for development, development assistance, federal projects, budget supplements, nat natural disasters. With time, escalated the demands for pro progressive reduction of such transfers. Demands for re retaining funds realized on the territory of the Republic. Allegations for paras parasitism and ultimately government protectionism of rich, of rich, of richer republics to, to keep incomes and investments on their territory. The division of market in, ter in territorial zones with Republican autonomy and ministerial decentralization was reinforced with every new federal reorganization that eventually, lead, that eventually led to government's reaction against companies outside Republican territory. 
to campaigns to purchase national products and, impo and, and imposition of the rules against unfair price competition that seek to push out local producers. Trade wars periodically occurred between republics but escalated dur during the 80s. By the mid-80s, Slovenia and Croatia refused to pay its share of the federal budget and, and by the end of the decade came a complete disruption of trade relations between republics, especially disruption between Slovenia and Serbia. <coughs> second, second conflict is the conflict of government decentralization and strengthening of republican bureaucracy. The way in which the liberal approach strengthened, strengthened the, of the operational and financial autonomy of self-management, the same was demanded for the republics. It meant the government and the central, it meant the government decentralization, fiscal, federal, fiscal federalism, and republican controls of the economic resources. The implements, the implementation of these reforms encouraged the implementation of these reforms encouraged the principles of economic rationality. Responsibility for economic resources was becoming closer to those who covered who governed them and their there was a belief it will lead to more rational use. Moreover, the activities under Republican jurisdiction were considered to be the engine of growth, while those under the federal government were considered to be ob obstacle to, go to growth. The goal of decentralization of the federal government, of reducing, of reducing federal economic authority and of loosening of control over enterprises should have led to reduced te tax burden on enterprises. But quite the opposite happened. Decentralization was followed by an, in, by, in, by an increase in taxes and redistribution on the national level. The burden of financing public goods and externalities was sharply and unevenly transferred to the, to the Republican authorities, reinforcing the inequalities that previously existed in the, in the level of economic development and availability of resources. Now the republics must balance its budget. Using its Using its jurisdiction, jurisdiction, jurisdiction to tax, re Republican authorities try to devise new mechanisms for collecting the tax on the net income of the company. They issued bonds to finance schools and capital, and introduced a new, new taxes for the private sector. Enterprises often without liquid assets to pay the workers their, their wages had to borrow from banks and ask for rescheduling of loans. In poorer, in poorer local government units, politicians and managers of companies were more focused on each other, so it created a great incentive, incentive, incentive to, to corruption and personal network of power and mutual assistance. At the same time, since the banks were managed by the companies in, in proportion to deposits, decisions about loans often favored large enterprises within the Republican boundaries and investment decisions of Republican government. But the risk of bankruptcy or bank deaths were not borne by the, by the companies that borrowed. It was, socialist, it was socialized among all companies within the Republic, large and small. Republican governments were responsible for the employment, employment growth and, the, and therefore seeked all possible ways to prevent bankruptcies of enterprises through direct management, restructuring or borrowing. Thus, uh, thus avoiding the burden of bankruptcy for the budget and social tensions. These activities ultimately went through the banking system and the National Bank was often forced with choice between monetization of accumulated debt, debt of banks or tidal wave of bankruptcy throughout the economy at a subsequent recession. <clears throat> Coming to a third, third point, conflict of financial restric restrictions or austerity measures during 80s and macroeconomic imbalances. Liberal, liberal accumulation strategy had direct consequences for the organization of the economy in general and the role of the federal and Republican governments in it. Although the political authorities do not waive their right to formulate economic policy and, their, and its interest in the health and direction of the economy they still need to give priority to the value of money and monetary stability because their power is only as stable as it is monetary financial system. Therefore, the money in circulation should never be greater than the actual value of goods produced. 
and the total fund for salaries must, must be in balance with the resources available, available for the consumption. The, co the conflict in strategy is more than obvious. On one side is a concern for mac macroeconomic stability and, re and reducing the fund for salaries, and on the other side, the role of direct economic incentives for worker, workers, managers, farmers, and operational autonomy in terms of supply, labor force, and increased productivity. A solution that remains is, a, is economic co co coercion. Economic units should be financially responsible for the budget and require hard budget constraints. Certain financial oversight, oversight responsibilities can be carried out for the banks that periodically send their accountants to check the financial records of companies. But the initiative for the implementation of discipline in the use of resources lies in the budget department. Liberal reformer, reformers is, ex, expect from economic actors to make the same rational and budget equilibrium calculations as capitalists. Liberal reformers want, want from economic units to make the decisions on the budget cuts when profits fall and then threaten investment. And they, want, and they want from them to balance between the wages and employment. But they do not want themselves to make these decisions. So they, so they transfer decision-making to those who create value using social ownership. Ultimately, in the final instance, it is expected that workers, workers think like capitalists. Microeconomic assumptions of macroeconomic stability, which were based on the belief that companies and Republican, and Republican government can be conservative, responsible financial man managers, quickly, quickly collapsed in Yugoslavia. They should, they, should, they should have balanced their budget and carried out appropriate economic calculation, regardless of, the, of, the, of distribution policy during recession, external economic shocks or external demand shocks. This, this expecta expectation from the budget units of the companies and the Republican government proved unachievable. The central government repeatedly had to impose their responsibility for the balance of payments, external debt, and the value of domestic currency. It used, especially during the 80s, monetary and physical mechanisms to cut the demand while the tax benefits, so-called trickle-down econ economics, sought to revive domestic production and monetary balance. During the 80s, federal government was, was resolutely slice, slicing the budget and funds for investment in the hope that the production could respond to these material incentives. Money for basic human services, collective goods, transportation was, pro was progressively reduced and forwarded to lower levels of to external funds, or these services were simply rendered to the for the mobilization of private sector. The final result was utter net negligence. All this, although the stabilization programs during the 80s sought to address the trade deficit and internal inflation and establish economic balance, stabilization programs created the exact, exact opposite, a downward spiral of recession, only occasionally, only occasionally lose monetary expansion in order to service the debt of the previous period. And I come to fourth fourth conflict, conflict of internationalization of economy and the emergence of business cycles. Integr integration, into the in integration into the international economic flows was based on the hope that it would result in the sources of development, financing, cheaper consumer goods, advanced technology and competitive incentive for more efficient domestic economy. At the same time, it was neglected of it was neglected often discriminatory position of the socialist countries in international trade on the one side, and on the other side, party leadership neglected the influence of internalization of internationalization of capital on monetary stability and price wars between domestic enterprises. These developments certainly affected living standards and employment. Inclusion in international trade had a form of political religion, believing in the best outcome. The faith in positive our outcomes did not show results. State was faced with trade deficits and external debt. These consequences defined the choices of economic policy, so the government often implemented various forms of short-term admi administrative and political control of demand and social, and social discontent. And in the last decade of Yugoslav history, to repay its debts, debts 
government implemented orthodox, stabiliza orthodox stabilization that affected the poorest and the least developed regions. Some, com some, some companies had no, other, had no other choice but to agree to restrictions, while companies with particular influence created its own financial instruments and contributed to the in 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 inflationary spiral, especially in the 80s. Loss of control over money supply undermined the economic base of stability in the country. Economic security, economic security and predictability necessary for rational calculation and steady consumption growth of all social classes disappeared during the 80s. That crisis destroyed the basis of solidarity between different social groups and led, and led to the escalation of political conflict about distribution. Although the original objective of the, of, of the socialist monetary system was to prevent the degradation of work, for workers' control over, over money, and prevent domestic economy from international trade cycles, inter, international financial controls, exactly the opposite happened. Frequent devaluation of the exchange rate, internationally induced recession, the decline in real wages, rising unemployment, stagflation by the, by the 70s, and hyperinflation by the mid 80s, all this became a usual phenomenon on the economic scene. And yet, at the end, all these uh, all these agreements on how to address these problems was were, were strongly influenced by international financi financiers. Ultimately, the domestic economy reproduced cycles in the global capital accumulation, rather than protecting the producers producers from these cycles. Fifth, fifth, <coughs> fifth point is the conflict economic liberalization and the, and the federal political repression. Although, although economic liberalization led to some, political liberaliza to some political liberalization, this is valid only in the extent to which the state and the party leadership could not, could not, could not, con could not control this process. The moment when the economic liberalization potentiated na nationalist sentiments, the party, the party was uh, the party was at that point determined to suppress this phenomenon but the state and party authorities were only threatened only threatened by the republican political managerial personnel in the context of river but the state and party party authorities were not only threatened by the republican political managerial personnel in the context of liberalization the moment when the central government started losing economic control when there is a crisis resistance occurs in all strata of society in all strata of society who are threatened by the crisis political and economic power of the federal state leadership therefore depends heavily on monetary stability on monetary stability during the 80s monetary monetary stability was strong, was strongly affected but the central, the central government replaced, <coughs> replaced its de declining authority with remaining policy instruments. Federal leadership still had under their control police, pow police powers, standing army, which intervened in Kosovo in, the in 1980, 1981, and a certain discipline over the party cadres. Although, although their uniformity and loyalty during the 80s entirely disappeared. But the money for military authoritative positions for the party cadres and international diplomacy, all this requires a certain control over the economic resources. And the federal government, and the federal, federal government was increasingly losing its resources. Hope that the, that the party could remain a single hope that the party could remain a single power was in conflict with republica republicanization of party cadres. Since the army was increasingly being involved in local, in local events to suppress civil disobedience because of growing inequality, it also grew a, it also grew a political cost. It also grew a political cost of such intervention of such intervention. As the federal government is more identified, as the federal government is more identified with the brute force, even when protecting minorities, the more legitimacy of its existence comes into question. 
ultimately the Republican leadership or the newly formed democratic, democratic parties like HDZ in Croatia, Demos in Slovenia, exploit the economic crisis and the and the and the loss and the loss and, and the loss of legitimate of legitimacy of federal leadership to manipulate to manipulate 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 by nationalist nationalist means uh, to manipulate by national means coming to power and <coughs> I'm coming to the six six point the conflict of self-management and nationally broken solidarity. So, development, the development of self-management in, Yugos, in, Yugoslavia, in Yugoslavia did not go in the direction of developing solidarity, cooper, cooperative and mutual economic exchange. The working class of Yugoslavia did not become a progressive emancipatory factor in the formation of advanced, solidary and, and emancipated community. Although it was it was a declarative goal of the state party leadership, implementation of strategy for gradual release of market criteria led the working class in the opposite direction to the competition. What gave priority to the liberal strategy and not what gave, what gave priority to the liberal strategy and not the death of emancipation was too much skepticism of state power and state party leadership for the backward agricultural structure of economy and the dominant peasant population targeting the standards of Western economies and trying to preserve its political power. Self-management was closed within the companies that were increasingly, comp increasingly competing with each other within the Yugoslav market, tying, tying their interests with the Republican elites. In the end, the self-management became a victim of the reason on which it was introduced. Self-management was introduced as the main element of the socialist liberal program and was a tactic to increase the productivity by non-economic means. State and party leadership hoped that the workers' right to, de to, to democratic participation in decision-making on production and distribution would, be, would, su would, su would substitute the instant instantaneous salary payments and enable a longer horizon of capital reproduction. But instead of a vacant spiritual life and sacrifice for greater good, eventually rise the strong consumerism. Nothing unusual for a society that increasingly rested on market criteria. At the time of the onset of a deep and protracted crisis during the 80s, the implementation of harsh austerity measures, rising in inflation, commodity shortages and bankruptcies, workers demanded full democratic rights over economic resources which were said to belong to them. Leadership of nationalist republican governments manipulated, manipulated their demands for full rights of self-management in Yugoslavia for the national cause, saying that they will keep more of their income if, if, redistribution, if redistribution in other republics in other republics ceases. Unfortunately, along with other means of manipulation for the media and mass rallies, this orientation toward national nationalist policy was, was, was successful. Yugoslav self-management by the early 60s lost its ideological enthusiasms of the public service and, the, and individual work motivated by the, by the commitment to the collective enterprise that is jointly being built, regardless of the current prize money. In, in contrast, from the 60s, the system of micro-rationality and decentralized budget came to the fore, which reduced workers' pol political activity to the wage determination and the citizen activity to the Republican autonomy. Republican political radic radicals during the 80s requested national independence and freedom for companies, with, co for companies within the Republic, while the, so while the social basis of so society-wide movement disappeared. Ultimately, Yugoslavia was not built as an as emancipatory community, but it was decomposed in, in, the, in, the, identitarian, in the identitarian societies. In Yugoslavia, the problem <clears throat> became how to implement advanced liberal mechanisms in economically undeveloped country permitted with the agricultural structure, patriarchal and traditional culture and heterogeneous degree of involvement in the global market. Socialist revolution succeeded in a country 
where, there, where the late industrialization and the consequences of imperial capitalist policy result in a number of limitation, limitations. Liberal development program was a liberal development program was envisioned to enable the transformation of society on the basis of the most advanced aspects of capitalism. But uneven legacy of economic and social context of the Yugoslav territory weighed certainly like a nightmare. Before World War II, peasants were affected by the strong fluctuation in commodity markets. The workers were affected by the global depressions. Minorities were affected by centralizing empires. While the intellectual Rata felt relative, relatively material and cultural deprivation in comparison with Western centers. In such, in such situation, the consequences of the pre-war economic, social and political legacy certainly increased po potential allies of the Communist Party and popular support, but also, brought, but also brought populist, liberal and national concerns and tendencies, tendencies in the proletarian movement. Yugoslav community, Yugoslav community was imagined through, through the cooperation of workers, peasants, craftsmen, intellig and intelligence in conditions of permanent market reforms that, that strengthened political convergence and economic cooperation with the West. This community showed the, all the hardship of the socialist revolution in a country where political legacy, the consequences of the Second World War, the process of, liber of, the process of internationalization of capital, unequal state of development, political and in economic importance of the land, and, and, le and last but not least, the political and cultural influence of the liberal inter intelligentsia ultimately forced the national, national, nationalist question in the top of the political and economic debates. In the end, to quote Yeats, things fell apart, center did not hold, and mere anarchy was loosened upon the world. Uh, what is easier for the, okay. for the public? Does anybody see the similarity between the between the developments in European Union and the developments in Yugoslav, in Yugoslav history. Of course, there is no question. There is no internationalism. Thank you for your question. I have a more speculative question. What is the story of the other side? The analysis that you have done pač pokazano vsa ta protislovja, težka protislovja, s katerimi se pač poskusovanje socializma na jugoslovenskem prostoru srščavo. Tudi zdi se mi zelo pomembno, da se jih pač ukorelino v enih zelo specifičnih zgodovinskih okoliščinah, kjer je pač ta socializm vse poskušal uvesti. Zdaj si pa že samo v bistvu nakazal, da znotraj Evropske unije, znotraj tega političnega prostora, v kjer ga smo ujeti, mi zdaj vsi skupi, se podobni procesi odvijajo, podobna protislovja med centrami in periferijo in tako naprej. Tako da, kaj so v bistvu tiste aktualne analoge našega gibanja znotraj Evropske unije? Analogije zbog Jugoslavije in Evropske unije. Ja, logika, logika procesa. O, to je očla ena zadeva, ja, druga pa predvsem to, mislim, kako zdaj, ne vem, neki novi socialistički pokret kako da vzima v obzir sve ove dileme, o kojem si ti izlagam danes. Tako, malo pitanje, je bilo. Još kaj pitanje? Možemo jedno po jedno pa, ako se nekaj šali poslije. Još na vprašanje, da se je človek umira lahko pravo. Če logike procesa dezintegracije v Evropskoj uniji, 
Jugoslaviji. Očito je da po svim ovim po svim ovim linijama koje sam naveo nisam ih slučajno odabrao tako kako sam ih naveo. Htio sam baš navesti te linije koje zapravo pokazuju da pokazuju da sličnosti između liberalnog modela u Jugoslaviji i neoliberalnog modela u Evropskoj uniji su zapravo... To je isti model kada tržišna... kada unutar jednog jednog prostora, jednog teritorija koji predstavlja Europska unija, postoje različno povisno nasljeđe kapitalizma i različno povisno nasljeđe internacionalizacije kapitala i procesa globalne akumulacije kapitala. Onda do izražaja upravo dolaze razlike između središnjih, centralnih, ekonomija Europske unije, Njemačke, Francuske ili Skandinavskih zemalja i perifernih zemalja u Europskoj uniji, gdje stvadaju zemlje bivšeg socijalističkog bloka i mediteranske zemlje. I one zapravo pokazuju da kada se sve te razlike podvedu pod, kada se podvedu, recimo, pod kriteriji stabilnosti, monetarne stabilnosti, koja je zapravo, monetarna stabilnost koja je zapravo centralni, monetarna stabilnost je zapravo centralni moment i liberalne, liberalnog modela i neoliberalnog modela. Ruling class u svakoj zemlji je zainteresiran za za stabilne financijske uvide. To je centralna tema za njih. Zbog toga inzistiranje na monetarnoj uniji je način na koji oni zapravo mogu držati pod kontrolom zemlje periferije, s obzirom da zemlje periferije više nemaju kontrol nad svojim monetarnim na svojim monetarnim suverenitetom, na svojim monetarnim suverenitetom i nemaju i time gube zapravo mogućnost da kreiraju neku svoju ekonomsku politiku, ali što je puno važnije, kad zemlje periferije nemaju monetarnog suvereniteta, oni također ne predstavljaju opasnost u smislu izbijanja izbijanje inflacije, to jest gubitka vrijednosti novca, što može biti što može biti što može biti problem za investitore koji dolaze iz centralnih zemalja. Dakle, ono što zapravo hoću naglasiti je to pitanje monetarne monetarne stabilnosti za koje je upravo zainteresirana za koje su upravo zainteresirane centralne zemlje i njihove vladajuće klase kako bi amputirale eventualne mehanizme distorzije koje bi mogle doći sa periferije. To je što se tiče ovog što se tiče pitanja za logiku procesa i onda u tom smislu eventualnog socijalizma da svaka buduća socijalistička alternativa mora naglašavati prije svega da je monetarna kreditna politika majka svih politika i da samo kontrola nad novcem, to je proizvodnjem novca i cirkulacijom novca u ekonomiji omogućuje zapravo motivaciju za poticanje drugih sektora ekonomije poput industrije, poljoprivrede ili turizma 
I said you will hear about Yugoslavia more than here, but <laughs> you wanted to hear. Okay, <laughs> good. Thank you very much. Now, the second one is the second one. The second one is the second one. Jugoslavija otvara, ne samo pitanje zapravo monetarne, stabil, monetarne, monetarne stabilnosti. U slučaju Jugoslavije očito je da su, očito da je proces integracije u regionalne kapitalističke tokove narušio, narušio stabilnost monetarnog sistema, narušio stabilnost, narušio stabilnost cirkulacije novca i time narušio naravno moć federalne vlasti. Naravno to se iskoristilo republička republičke vlasti dinamikom dinamikom konflikta između republika i i centra da bi republika da bi republi, da bi nacionalisti u republikama zadržali vlast. Ma, ali ono što je još bitno što uh, uh, distorzije eh, distorzije monetarne stabilnosti izbijanje financijske izbijanje financijske krize to imalo to imalo posljedice za radničku klasu eh, poduzeća poduze, poduzeća su se našla pod mjerama pod austerity austerity mjerama morala su morala su uštedjeti da bi otplatila dugove ali radnička klasa nije pokazivala tu eh, tu dinamiku na tu dinamiku u tu dinamiku prema nacionalizmu u one ba, u one mjeri u koje u koje su to u koje su to e, nacionalističke elite predviđale da će se dogoditi tek negdje tek pred kraj tek, tek pred kraj postan Jugoslavije nacionalističke elite su 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 vladale radničkom delavskom delavskim razredom e, ali pri toga Radnici, radnici su pokazali e, izrazito veliku solidarnost u cijelom nizu štrajkova koji su se događali koji su se događali tijekom 80-ih. Tijekom 80-ih je bilo desetak desetak tisuća desetak tisuća štrajkova koji su koji su koji su koji se danas zaboravljaju i koji su zapravo pokazivali i koji su zapravo pokazivali da rad, da radnici iz različitih republika radnici iz Hrvatske, radnici iz Srbije, Slovenije zapravo su pokazivali e, vjernost e, idealu e, bratstva jed, bratstva jedinstva. I to je bilo ono što je što su što su što su nacionalističke elite e, nastojale dezintegrirati. Znači e, ne samo ne samo da su htjele preuzeti vlast od centralno od, centra, od centralnog autoriteta nego su ujedno htjele razmiti tu, tu solidarnost između radničkih klasa različitih republika koji su se, koji su se povezivale na temelju, na temelju solidarnosti i naravno ovladati njima u cilju nacionalističke politika. No, ono što se zaboravlja često je koja je uloga srednje klase, koja je uloga middle klasa u, u raspadu Jugoslavije. Često se naglašava da je da je radnička klasa ta koja je došla pod utjecaj nacionalizma. Uh, but, uh, ali zaboravlja se uh, ali zaboravlja se da ali zaboravlja se da sred, srednja klasa možda se probati prebaciti na engleski ovaj. Uh, srednja klasa je ta middle class je, je upravo ta klasa koja je zapravo nositelj nositelj nositelj, nositelj liberalizacijskog projekta. 
ona je srednja klasa ta koja je zainteresirana za materijalni i kulturni konfor koji proizlazi iz njezinih relativnih privilegija u odnosu na radiću klasu, u odnosu na working class. I ona je zainteresirana, srednja middle class je interested in keeping their privileges. Toga u trenutku kada dolazi do izbijanja, u trenutku kada dolazi do izbijanja krize, pripadnici srednje klase, obrazovani, urbani, s očekivanjem zaposlenja i statusa, s očekivanjem da njihova djeca dobiju zaposlenje, zaposlenje i status, oni također postaju ti koji su skeptični prema trenutnoj situaciji u Jugoslaviji. Oni također traže izlaz da bi rekonstruirali svoje privilegije. Stoga u onom trenutku kada im nacionalističke elite nude izlaz iz krize, Srednja klasa je ta koja je sve koja je tako rado isto tako rado prigrlila taj moment koji su zapravo koji su nacionalisti koji su nacionalisti ponudili. S obzirom da je kriza zatvarala radne pozicije karakteristične za za middle class, dakle, pozicije u obrazovanju, pozicije u javnom sektoru i prepuštala te, i prepuštala sve veći utjecaj komercijalizacije javnog sektora, od trenutka kada je nacionalističke elite ponudile određeni izlaz u formi europskog sna i u formi koji će restaurirati te privilegije srednje klase, oni su prigrlile nacionalističke politike. Tako da, kada se govori o usponu nacionalističkih politika, tu ne bi trebalo zaboraviti zapravo taj utjecaj koji kriza ima na srednju klasu i metode kojom nacionalisti ovladavaju njihovom pozicijom kroz obećanje restauracije privilegije. Naravno, to otvara pitanje što se događa sa srednjom klasom u trenutnoj, što se događa sa middle classom u trenutnoj krizi, koji je, kakva je njihova pozicija trenutno kada kriza u Europskoj uniji gasi radne pozicije u javnom sektoru i u tim profesionalnim pozicijama koje su karakteristične za middle class, na koji način zapravo kooptirati njih u u određeni politički program, da im se restauriraju privilegije, da se dobije njihovo povjerenje, a istovremeno da se uspostavi ravnoteža i prema drugim, da se uspostavi ravnoteža prema radničkoj klasi koja je zapravo ima koja ima u određenoj mjeri su predstavljene interese. Drugim riječima, pitanje koje se postavlja kako u političkom, socijalističkom programu povezati skupine, klase, radičku klasu, srednju klasu, seljake, sitno obrtviško poduzetništvo, dakle, kako ih povezati s obzirom na to da utjecaj krize proizvodi različite efekte za svaku njih. To je nešto o čemu vi promišljate.